beautiful rock in the middle of nowhere. Do you like the sun glistening from this angle? Or perhaps this angle? Dude, I live there, man! Antarctica is a giant piece of ice, which is just the frozen part of water, located here. It features many eccentricities, such as ice, 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 penguins, ice, and research station. In the year negative 500 million, the Earth looked like this. 350 million years, though, looked like this. Formed in a giant continent called Gondwana. Antarctica was actually pretty chill. Yep, there was no ice in this period. It was pretty warm. It was dominated by forests, animals, weird stuff, and dinosaurs. Hey, what is that? Oh, that's continental drift. Gondwana is just breaking up. Well, that's awkward. The ocean currents are going all over the place, and Antarctica is now stuck in the South Pole. This is where the ice comes in. Now that Antarctica is a social outcast, ice begins to spread throughout the continent, like insects. One, because of a current, and two, because the Earth was literally freezing at this time. I know, Antarctica. It's pretty scary. You know what's even scarier, though? Human beings. Because they've just created their own global society. And they're exploring the world. James Cook, your ideal British dude, sets sail and tries to find Antarctica. He fails. He did cross the circle though. Oh yeah, and he died. Then, two Russian dudes actually did find it, and they circled the continent twice. What a dump. Dang, they weren't even interested. Hey, but someone put their feet there after that. The North Pole just got discovered, baby! Wait, it's just the magnetic one? Mm-hmm. Well, that's stupid. British Prince Charming who found the pole apparently had an intellectual setback. What? If there's a north one, there has to be a south one. So he does sail for the south one, and he fails. Then nothing really happens for 60 years. This period starts off with an expedition gone wrong, because Gurlash got his ship stuck in the ice for a year. What an idiot. Don't worry though, this motivates two men who were on there to do better than him. Britain's back. And they got a new person. <laughs> the South Pole will be mine. mine, mine, mine. What did he just say? This guy, Roald Amundsen, is playing serious because he wants to get to the South Pole first. The two teams made their way through the continent. However, because Amundsen was from Norway and Scott not from Norway, they won. Scott also made it, but things didn't go well for him. I'm going home. He didn't actually go home because he died. Okay, so it's the early 20th century. The world just had a war. China just collapsed and everyone's obsessed with conquering stuff. By legally assaulting Africa. Oh yeah, and Britain is now the largest empire in the world. Hmm, that's good. But they're still kind of salty about that South Pole thing. Hey, I got an idea. Let's just take the entire continent. Dude, that's pretty British. We're in, said Britain. Wow, Britain actually did something. I think they might actually take the entire thing. Are you challenging us? Britain actually did challenge them. So they claimed some stuff, which was stuff that Britain very much wanted. Meanwhile, Australia and New Zealand kind of become independent, meaning Britain kind of loses, well, everything. Everyone starts fighting over Antarctica. Then Argentina and Chile join in. They actually just wanted to take Britain's land because they didn't like Britain and they didn't like that Britain was trying to expand onto a sheet of ice. Then the whole thing got ugly. Hey, can I have some land? Are you communist? Oh, there goes World War II. And that newcomer disappeared. I wonder what happened to them. Science. The world is about to have a science revolution because the Cold War is a waste of time and we gotta learn new things. Especially in this year because everyone gets involved in studying the penguins. Research stations start popping up all over the place and every country liked the science stuff so much they signed a treaty which made all those land claims useless. 
Congratulations, Antarctica. You're now a science-only continent. That's great to put on the resume. Oh, dang. Someone just got born on the continent. That's pretty sick. Whoops, the ozone layer almost died. Don't worry, the humans fixed it. And also caused it. Antarctica starts melting because human beings become so industrialized they accidentally burn the planet. Hmm, that's an epic human problem. Maybe someone will save us one day.